Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to pre-production for the Modern Guitarist. And in the last video, we were talking about getting started and some of the gear you're going to need. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the four phases that I mentioned in doing pre-production. And the first phase is going to be the writing phase. So as you can see, I got my guitar with me today. And I threw together a few riffs just to kind of demonstrate if you were working on some ideas and wanted to send them to either one of your bandmates or you're just working on your own music. Alright, so the software we're going to be using for tabbing our ideas is Guitar Pro 6. And Guitar Pro 6 is a pretty powerful tool, and you can utilize it for all kinds of composing, like metal stuff or classical, any kind of orchestration. So with that being said, let's get started and get into it. So here we are, we're going to open up Guitar Pro 6. And for any of you guys that have Guitar Pro 6, you've probably heard that a million times. Alright, so here we have a brand new project. We're gonna go ahead and go to New Score. Let's just do an empty score. We're starting from scratch here. And let's see, what do I want to call this song? Let's call it Swarm the Mutant Midgets. Why do I want to call it Swarm the Mutant Midgets? I don't know. So, and this artist is Craig Peters. All right, here we go. So this is a brand new project. All we have is the name of the song. So what we're gonna need to do, and here look, before we get into adding tracks, well, I wanna talk about Guitar Pro 6 a little bit and show you guys where you can kind of find things if you're just getting into it. Right here in the top, it's a little music note. This is pretty much where you have all your music notation. Note values, quarter notes, eighth notes, that sort of thing. And then if you go down, where the little guitar is, you're not going to see anything here because there's no tracks on. Here, actually, here, let's go ahead and let's add a track. Guitars, distorted guitars, six string. Let's just call this guitar left. I'll usually like to do one left track and one right track because I'll usually pan them so I get a little more of an idea of how things are going to sound when I start tracking. Let's go ahead and add that. And then in here, you can alter the tuning. So you have the tuning and also the sound bank. And like what there's different guitars, different. Yeah. Yeah, so you got different guitars here. There's seven string guitars. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the tuning on this. I usually tune in C sharp standard, but for this song, I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and do something in drop tuning, so. I'm going to go ahead and, I don't like flat, I usually go by sharp, so let's uncheck flat. We have C sharp. And then let's go ahead and drop this down another whole step to B. Okay? And then we're going to hit the check mark. Don't do this one because if for some reason you have a bunch of stuff already tabbed out and you do this in the middle of the process and you click this one, it's going to just completely transpose all of your, all of your notes. So go ahead and just hit the check mark. Now, if you go down here, there's different effects and amp stuff. So that's what's cool about Guitar Pro 6, because unlike just having normal MIDI, this actually doesn't sound that bad for being a virtual instrument or a MIDI instrument. Down here, some other little things you can do. I don't really mess with this too much, as I pretty much use this for tracking. Um, here, there's you can find some different chords if you're looking for different chord charts, stuff like that. Here's pretty cool. Uh, you can actually, if you have lyrics, let's, let's say as you're writing, you start getting some lyric ideas, you can go ahead and open this up and just jot them down real quick instead of putting them on another file. Just kind of keep everything together. So, all right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and make the second guitar track. Same thing, but I'm gonna call this Guitar Right. And then I want to change the tuning of this as well. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and add some drums. Actually, no, let's do bass first. I'm just going to call this bass. We'll do four strings. Let's go ahead and alter the tuning of this.
All right, now let's go ahead and add drums. Go here to drums and percussion. All right, cool. So right now you see everything's kind of laid out. I don't like the way this looks. So what I like to do is go to view and where it says multi-track, let's just go ahead and get rid of it. I like to work at one, work on one thing at a time. All right, so now we're here. The next thing I like to do here, let's, let me show you the, the riff I got. It's a little intro riff. So that's what I have so far, and instead of sitting around here and trying to figure out what the tempo is, what I like to do is, I have an app on my phone, but I'm going to use an app here on the iPad. Just find any kind of random metronome, it doesn't really matter, as long as it has a tap function. You can see this one here, it's got a little tap. So what I'll do is, so if we play the riff. has kind of a that's the basis of this chord and note beat so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of tap it so right here it tapped it 98 so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna round it off to 95 so that sounds about right so what then I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, you'll see a little quarter note with a number next to it, and that is your BPM. Let's go ahead and change this to 95, that's the basis of our intro. Okay, so. Alright, so we have 4-4, four, four. and this is another thing in Guitar Pro 6. If you don't understand time signatures and what quarter notes and eighth notes are, you have to learn that first. Or else, if you're trying to explain stuff to people, they're not going to understand. Or if you're also trying to program in Guitar Pro 6, you're going to start seeing stuff like this. So let's say, all right, so 4-4 four, four is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, all right? So if you, let's say we just have quarter notes, let's just do this. 1, 1, 1, 1. And then we go over. See how that... But if for some reason, so we have, and it starts over. Let's say for some reason this, we made this a uh, half note. Ooh, we got some red right here. That's not good. So pretty much what's cool about this is even if for some reason you're trying to figure it out and you're not too sure, you can just kind of mess around. Let's say you're like, all right, well, it's not a half note. Let's try an eighth note. No, that doesn't work. All right, let's try a quarter note. Okay, cool. Now we're good. So if your measures and your notes don't match up, it's going to be red. All right, so let's just go ahead and get rid of all this. So we have a dotted half note, quarter note. So this is the first part. Oops. All right. Okay, so that's all we have so far. Now let's go into the next part. And it's going to be, I think this should be a half note. It's not right. It's going to be three, four, three, one. All right, let's see if this is right. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to change this. Command T brings up the time signatures. I think I'm going to make this eight, four. Let's go ahead and Command X and cut that and paste that in here. So now this is all together. Now this is all together. That's not right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cut that. Let's 
let's make all these 16th notes. All right, so now we're good. Let's listen back and see how this sounds. Let's see if that's right. All right, cool. So, and I actually play this as chords, so let's go ahead and And this is all palm muted, so if you go ahead and highlight all this and hit P, boom, palm muted. All right, so let's hear how this sounds now. And then I do that again, so let's go ahead and just copy and paste it. And then Command C, Command V is your normal copy and paste. But instead of going to the first fret, I'm going to slide up here to the 5th fret. And then, remember there was that part where I do some... I'm not going to try and transcribe me doing the bending up because that's just pointless. Um, I guess 30 second notes actually. And it's on the 7th fret. all that. Just keep going until you're out of it. Okay, so this is pretty much our intro, and I do this again. All right, so I'm not going to do the entire song. I just kind of want to show you a little bit of how I start to do it, so that way you can kind of learn for yourself, because I learned all this stuff on my own, and it's kind of good to get in there a little bit, like learn the basis and then get in there and start getting it under your hands. So, but one of the main things is you have to learn your note values and your time signatures. It's very important. All right, so let's go ahead and just copy and paste this. So this is what we have so far. And actually, sometimes these things like to get all cluttered. So let's, where's the view? And I like to make this horizontal view. But why? But yeah, always make sure it's out of the um, multi-track mode. Because sometimes the notes will start to smash together, and that's always kind of annoying. So sometimes if you change the view, it'll kind of make it a little bit better. So. All right, so you get the idea. So now, I'm not going to get into bass, let's just go into drums. So right here, I think it's Command F6, brings up your... It's sort of this little chart that shows where all the different uh, drum pieces are. And um, so, uh, another cool thing too, programming drums in Guitar Pro 6 is cool because if for some reason you're programming in your computer, like on your DAW, and you're not sure you know, what kind of notes it is. What's cool about this is you can always use this as a reference. So you'll say you go back to your guitar and you're like, oh, like what was it, a, you know, it was a dotted half note or was it a quarter note? You just go here, oh, okay, the first note is a dotted half note and then it's a quarter note. So then you go to your drums. Let's go to kick, which is gonna be, and it shows you right here too, or see the little number one is, you would hit number one on your actual keyboard. So, and that is a dotted half note. We're going to go ahead and change that. This is going to be another kick, but we're going to change this to a quarter note. Let's see. Let's go, let's see. What did we program again? Oh yeah, this one is a half note. And this process doesn't work for everyone. This is sort of how I do it. There's no real right or wrong way. It's just how, whatever works for you. All right, so here. And then we have that little fill. So what do I want to do here? Let's go to the low tom. 
And these were the first two were 30 second notes. I want the fill. I'm thinking I want something kind of like a. So let's go ahead and hear how this sounds so far. the drums up a little bit so or actually let's bring the guitars down a little so you can hear the drums now let's go ahead and put some crashes on here too and actually if let's say you get the you program this, but then you hear something else, what you can actually do too is go down to where this is. It's another little layer, and you can add extra drums in there too. But I'm not going to do that now. What I'm thinking about is I might add that later on once we actually get this into our DAW. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this. Think about maybe just doing some fast double bass there. Yeah, I don't need that. Maybe some kind of a cool behemoth kind of vibe. Let's see, I want this to be. Where's my where's my China? See how this sounds. Wait, that's not right. All right, so here we go. Here's our intro so far. Actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So I'm actually not going to do this part again. I'm actually going to cut this out. And this is actually going to be Here, let's go ahead and All right, yeah. So I remembered actually that after this I actually have a faster riff that comes in. So, I'm going to make this 4-4 four, four again. And then the next riff I have, sort of a faster riff. So let's go ahead and find our tempo. So it's about 135. So right here, then we're going to go to Edit, Automations, Insert Tempo Automation. We're going to put 135. All right, so. And actually, and if for some reason this ever looks too little, you can also blow it up down here. All right, so let's go into Guitar. Get rid of this, because I remember it is changing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and transcribe this transition. And this is going to be the last thing I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this 16th notes, 16th note triplets. Bring this down to eighth notes. This is going to be triplets. All right, 
Let's hear how this sounds. Okay. So this is the whole thing. Alright, so that's kind of a basic idea of how I start tabbing out stuff in Guitar Pro 6. And what we're going to do after this is I'm going to show how I take from Guitar Pro 6 and bring it into my DAW and how I utilize it for getting time signatures and uh, tempo changes. And also utilizing the drum MIDI. And we're going to export the MIDI and all of that into our DAW and then start getting into the recording phase. So yeah, thanks for checking it out. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments and make sure to subscribe and you can catch all the videos as they come out. And uh, I'll see you then.